Hello, darlings. Well, this is a little bit different, isn't it? Instead of um, a TV or a video recorder, um, this is actually something I'm bleh, bleh, this is something I'm building right now. This is a replica arcade cabinet. Yeah, so this is a twenty-six inch, I think twenty-six, twenty-seven inch uh, tube from an abandoned Samsung I found um, a couple of years back. Um, if I'm still using the same um, profile picture, um, wherever it is, it'll be up here somewhere or wherever, wherever YouTube puts it on whatever app you're using. Um, yeah, that is the, this is the tube out of that TV that uh, you can see my, my old cat in. Um, yes, bless him. Um, of course, if I have changed it, because uh, I probably will change that at some point, but um, I, I'll uh, I'll put it put in a picture now, just of uh, <laughs> that. So yeah, so yeah, <laughs> is that annoying you yet? So yeah, yeah. Anyway, so here we have. So yeah, this is a um, I think I believe this is a Thompson tube. Uh, I'm not going to go into the. I'm not actually going to have a look at the tube because. It, <laughs> it involves moving the thing and frankly this thing weighs a ton already so yeah so the uh, electronics kind of worked but i got rid of it in favor of this which is a chinese uh, universal arcade chassis which works great um apart from a the um all the all the uh, controls were in chinese I've, you can see i've changed it now so it's red green and blue gain brightness horizontal skew which is kind of like the pin cushion effect vertical position vertical height uh vertical hold horizontal hold and horizontal position so yeah it's pretty straightforward and of course on the neck board you do actually i don't know if you can see there in fact you can we there we go you can actually see the um the red green and blue individual gun controls on there so yes the only um other the other problem of course is that it has no um degaussing circuit so this is just disconnected for the moment there but that's not a major problem though because it is fairly easy to um to rig up a, a degaussing circuit which i will do at some point there so the other thing is it only runs on um, 110 volts as well so yes i'm having to uh use a, a step down converter from uh, the 230 volts that we have and also this is being run at the moment from a pandora's box cx so it's 200 2800 games in one um i don't even have a jammer connector because the jammer connector that came with this was absolutely dreadful and frankly i don't think i'm ever going to connect this into a proper jammer um arcade system anyway so you know let's face it let's just do that plus it's easier for me because i can just figure out the circuits from here so yeah so here you see i've got joystick i've got an absolute mess of wires at the moment uh for the buttons but yes i will be using uh, green arcade buttons because um is that a clue as to what this is <laughs> mm. actually here's another slight clue as to what uh, arcade system this is going to be Yes, it was called the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in the UK, thanks to Margaret Thatcher, because ninjas apparently corrupt people's minds and all that. Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah, just need to uh, make a sort of a box thing uh, with some lighting. It doesn't take much to actually light this, which is quite nice. But uh, yes, there we go. Sorry, I've got me uh, <laughs> the lighting's right next to me here. So yes, so apologise for the reflection there. So, but you get the idea. The uh, Pandora's box uh, uses the standard uh, jammer power system of um, 5 volt, 12 volts and ground. Um, and this is what I'm using to power it. It's basically an old Xbox 360 power supply, which I've modified so it is constantly on. Anyway, let's get this powered up and see uh, how things go. Let's turn the light off here. There we go, I think. All right. 
as you can see, works uh, gorgeous picture. <laughs> I mean, really, seriously, gorgeous picture. Uh, might need a little bit of uh, degaussing or demagnetizing on the top and bottom there, but uh, I think that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see if I can change all the settings on this a bit. Really? There you go. I've got uh, managed to get it to set to free play now. Yeah. I don't know what's up with the music here, but... Cowabunga! Cowabunga! That's what I am. <laughs> Just using all these for the moment to, to get it working. This is well, <laughs> I'm literally just holding the button here and just pressing here, so, yeah. So, hmm. 